Having arrived in a wet and wintry Italy, our three flautists from the Singapore National Youth Orchestra left their hotel and walked the picturesque streets of Reggio Emilia to meet their mentor, world-renowned flautist Andrea Griminelli, at the Conservatory Achille Perry. Morning. I like very much what Lanx has done for the young uh, kids, the young uh, musician. And so I'm, I'm trying also to support Lanxess because I think it's a fantastic program. Uh, I wish when I was a kid, when I, uh, when I was 15, I had the, the chance to do this, uh, to study uh, in another country with uh, a professional flute player. The morning was filled with masterclasses and each of our players had some one-on-one -on -one time with the maestro to demonstrate their skills and hone them with his help. He then treated them to a tour of the conservatory library, which houses the second largest collection of original musical manuscripts in Italy. Before lunch, Rachel, Jasper and Su Jing were further treated to a private performance by another of Griminelli's protégés. After a hearty Italian lunch, our sweet-toothed Singaporeans hit the shops to stock up on continental candy and some of Italy's famous fashions, but stop to share their thoughts on their extraordinary experience. We are very thankful for this opportunity um, with Lanxus, who has kindly sponsored us for this trip um, with, to study with Mr. Gumielli. Yeah. Um, I'm sure we've learned a lot from this trip and we are very thankful for it and we will apply in the future as well as share it with our fellow SMYO flautists and friends. Yeah. yeah, this is a lovely place to be here and um, we're very thankful because we are, we've learned a lot here from Mr. Grimelli. The trip concluded with a concert at the Reggio Theatre in Parma by violinist Salvatore Accardo, playing a selection from Italy's own Niccolo Paganini. Don't forget you can catch Rachel, Jasper and Su Jin in concert at the Lanxess SMYO Classic on 21st of April. Find out more at lanxess.sg.